What's going on, guys? Willie D. Jarnett here. Uh, guys, I want to apologize to you. It's been close to two months since I probably have made a video and I distribute this video on my YouTube channel along with in within this Facebook group. Guys, I'm still on the Pinterest tip. Uh, I've been out. I'm, I'm military and um We've had a August. I had a real rough August. We had a lot of troops that come to where I work at, and things started slowing down. And now we we're into September, so we're we're midways into September, and now I I've started to get videos back out there now. So the, tonight I want to talk about uh, tailwind, and the reason why I want to talk about tailwind, a lot of people will probably try to sell you on a lot of things that you can use far as. Uh, something to kind of automate your Pinterest uh, adventure so far I have investigated and I'll let you guys know later on this is the only authorized app been there and done it I've tried programs that automate it that could make my life a little bit easier but what happened is on certain dummy accounts it will get uh, it will get flagged as spam and it will get canceled so you can't take a chance on a good Pinterest account that you have that you've worked on for months and months at a time and then all of a sudden you get canceled but what I want to do with Tailwind I want to tell show you how to be able to kind of market your pins to other groups and other tribes and we're gonna talk about that a little bit tonight what I do with my Pinterest account I always make a Pinterest account and the niche that is specifically that I uh, I specifically want to talk about, I always put most of my pins up at the top. I, you know, we can go ahead and log into the account right quick, and we'll do that. So I can probably show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go on one of my credit card sites. Okay, let's just let me just show you what I've done. I got a couple boards. What I do is I go into my credit card site, and if you take a look at these, but I hadn't put a a, a a page on there. See these tops boards right here. These are the sites right here, or boards that you know I I, I put up at the top. That's kind of focused on you know my website, and down towards the bottom, these are sites that I collaborate with other boards with and things of that nature so what I want to do is explain to you and you can have those boards at the bottom uh, this is what I do guys I come in and uh, and we'll start this we'll just go over I have tribes that I find in in my particular niche you can go in and find tribes with this tailwind app and uh, it's kind of working slow I, I'm using uh, yeah you can go ahead and find tribes within this tailwind app and then you can you could you can accept these tribes and then what you do is let's go to the tribes that I'm already described to this is another form of having uh Pinterest group boards and I've talked about that in earlier videos okay what I do guys this is what I do and we won't this that particular one I won't work through I'm just gonna go through a few ones. let's let's talk about pin your blogs what I do is I go in and I look at um, these particular uh, blogs uh, uh, pictures to these particular blogs and what I do is I, I be I, I am specific to what I want so I go in and type blog as a keyword so I can get to uh, sites that that has blogs and what I do is all your boards when you attach this account 
to your Pinterest account show up. So I got some blogging boards. So what I do is I just go in there and uh, I type blogging in. You can see blogging. And I schedule it to pin. I'm just scheduling this to pin on my board. These are other people's accounts. Okay. I'm scheduling it to pin. Quickly, I'm scheduling it to pin. And I always schedule more than 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 the average person. Okay, what happened is once I scheduled the pin, if you look at this, you look at what the tribe says, pin must be vertical, add all pins, and you want to add from your blog post every pin reopen. What they they're talking about, they have rules and stuff that you you go by. They don't they're real general. What I do is you pin per pin. So See what it says. Remember to pin one pin for every pin. Well, I'm ahead of the schedule. I have 67 shares and I've only put nine in mine. But let me tell you what happened when I add my pins in there. Well, people within this tribe, they share my pins. Oh, let me take this keyword out and show you. Look at my pins. Now, I just put that one in there the other day. See, I'm starting to get them to share my pins for me. So the pins that I put out, they share for me. And now you look at this pin here. Well, that pin there been shared 2,271 times. So guys, what that does is it helps you promote your pin. So you start getting traffic to your site. Now probably the rest of these pins, like this one right here, this is this has been awesome for me. This particular pin been shared 7,177 times. So what, what you're doing is you, you create a board and you put your niche emphasis towards the top and then pins and boards that you want to collaborate with at the bottom and then this is what this is what these are uh, these pins are being shared to so you share someone else's pin then they come back and share your pins and then you start to get traffic there and you'll see I'm going to show you what my scheduler is look at my scheduler I'm going to show you guys that so I got pins that are scheduled. I'll be honest with you. I got pins scheduled all the way to mid-October. If you go through and look here. Slow down. They are scheduled to. Uh, let's see how far. I I got pins scheduled to the 20th of October. And another thing to happen, guys, sometime when you pin other people pin, you can get some traffic back to your blogs, even pinning someone else's pin. So I just wanted to make this video quick. Um, I, I will be going in debt as I learn this uh, Tailwind try. And guys, I will be posted a link how you can access to this but if you're interested in Pinterest and this is something that you want to do the only authorized app that Pinterest authorized is Tailwind so if you if for some reason you guys are using another type of app be careful with it because if you got a, a well established Pinterest account you can get that account banned so I, I'm just telling you what 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 they're saying. So guys, I hope this video been a learning kind of a learning experience to you. And if you have any more questions about it, just just give me a holler. So but like I said, I use these tribes. These tribes are like groups, are like uh, Pinterest group boards. And uh, I, we do we still do do Pinterest group board. But you look at this particular board right here. Uh, Seven thousand folks in that group board. Uh, uh, I mean tribe and you look at this particular tribe and this particular tribe this is in the uh, manage money mommy tribe and it's for blogging too you look at the keywords that are to the side you can get some blogging traffic here too and uh, it's 15,000 people here so and it'll let you know what your potential reach is and then another thing this tool has I was I was going to cut this short let me show you this right quick and then we'll we'll we'll, we'll move on and I hadn't been messing with this particular uh, Tailwind uh, app that long. 
this will let you know what your uh this my engagement re reach is uh 9.4 i need to get that up there let's just take about our board insight I'm going to give you a little bit on here. Now, I have a credit card debt relief. If you look at the engagement score right here, what that is is people are actually engaging on this particular board. So I need to create more articles within this niche here and start posting it to this board here. It lets you know what your engagement is. Like the next one is hair growth. And the next one is credit score. So what it is, it will give you statistics on how your boards are doing. So, guys, this is an awesome tool, you know. And then I'm going to go one other place and then we'll leave it alone. Uh, try to keep my videos short here. Uh, this this right here will let me know my pen engagement. These pens has been repinned. Like this particular pen has been repinned. Uh, 1091, 1091 time. And how to raise my credit card score 300 points. This has been repinned those many times. So, what it does is start letting you go in and see what type of pins you get. And then, man, you can create another article that's similar to this. And then you can uh, re create you another pin to another article like this and repin it. Man, it's, it gives you a little history. So it, it, it's been pretty nice. Uh, you even got an organic activity to your pen. So, yeah. So, yeah. It lets you know what people are doing to it, uh, uh, what people are saying about it. So, guys, Tailwind is a, it's a powerful piece of software. So, if you're interested, I'll have a link below, guys. Take care. Have a blessed night.